While many of the top five automakers have drugged their feet when it comes to electric vehicles, one class at Bonham High School has gone full speed ahead with the technology, and over the past five months, they've been working to breathe new life into one old Ford. With the turn of a switch, the tractor built by Bonham High School's Ag Power and Technology course is off and running. But you may notice something's missing, the engine noise. Uh, it was originally had a four-cylinder internal combustion engine, gasoline-powered, and it roughly had about 30 horsepower. After six months of work by students, the tractor has a lot more power and makes a lot less noise. This uh, electric motor has roughly 60 horsepower capabilities. In fact, the old Ford now has so much power, they had to rein in a few of those horses. We have to have it turned down so that we don't get too much power to to mess up the drive line in the tractor. While the tractor isn't the first electric vehicle this class has built, it may be the most unique. I thought it might be pretty cool to do, do something different. Never seen one done before. While teachers like Clint Minnick help with the design, it's the students that do the fabricating and welding, and Minnick says the project is helping students learn to innovate. And the students are learning that they can do, uh, you know, use modern technology themselves. The tractor even has solar panels mounted on top so it can charge itself. More proof that if pointed in the right direction, high school students are able to make amazing things, even quiet amazing things. The high school students are more than capable with a little bit of guidance uh, to do projects like this. Electric vehicles aren't the only things that the ag power and technology students build. They also make grills and smokers, even hay trailers. They're looking to sell many of those items to raise money to buy supplies for their next project, an electric zero-turn radius mower. In the studio, Josh Stevenson, First News.